Almost everyone watching this video loves or has eaten pickles before. But have you ever wondered where this product comes from? Or the processes involved in making such a product? There are many people who think that pickles do not require any special process for their making. However, there's more to the process than you might think. While a lot of people might have had pickles at one time or another, this delicacy didn't just pop out of the blue. Pickles have been around for many years, and it's even believed to be one of Cleopatra's prized beauty secrets. Whether you know Cleopatra's story or not, she is still pretty famous, and if she did have any affinity for pickles, you could be sure that they are pretty useful. Pickles have also been known to appear in the Bible and in some of Shakespeare's writings, and even pregnant women have craved this delicacy along with other food items like ice cream. The origin of this delicacy goes back thousands of years, dating as far back as 2030 AD. However, the origin story of pickles isn't just one story. There are historical claims that this delicacy originated from China, thanks to the workers building the Great Wall of China who developed them. However, there are also more popular stories claiming that this delicacy originated from the Tigris Valley of Mesopotamia, thanks to the cucumbers brought from native India. Even with the diversity of the story, it is believed that the name of this delicacy comes from the Dutch word pekel, or the northern German word pokel, which means salt or brine. Two vital aspects of the pickling process. For thousands of years, pickling was considered a necessity, especially because it was the surest way of preserving food for an extended period. It also served as one of the earliest mobile delicacies filling the stomachs of hungry travelers and sailors while giving families a great source of food during the chilly winter months. We go behind the scenes to see how this very important delicacy is made. Pickles are usually made by submerging fresh vegetables or fruits in an acidic liquid or saltwater brine, as per the Dutch or Northern German names, until they are no longer considered vulnerable to spoilage or raw. However, when most people think of pickles, the vegetables that come to mind are cucumbers. Pickles, also known as pickled cucumbers, are usually small cucumbers that have been marinated in a vinegar, brine, or other solution and left to ferment for some time. Pickled cucumbers can also be made by either immersing the cucumbers in an acidic solution or through souring by lacto-fermentation. During the process of lacto-fermentation in saltwater brine, Lactic microbial organisms appear in the solution, and these organisms turn the naturally occurring sugars of this vegetable into lactic acid. As that happens, the solution swiftly becomes acidic, making the environment uninhabitable for any spoiling bacteria to survive or multiply. Pickled cucumbers can also be created using a salt and vinegar brine, which is mostly used for home cooks. This brine, often called pickle juice, is occasionally used by athletes to treat dehydration, although it hasn't been proven to be a true remedy. Pickles or pickled cucumbers are very popular all over the world. However, that also means that each part of the world has different ways of making them. One of the many forms of pickles in the world today are brined pickles. These are made by utilizing the traditional method of natural fermentation in brine, which ultimately causes them to grow sour. The salt content in the brine may vary, falling between 20 to 40 grams per liter, or two and three quarters to about five and one quarter ounces. However, it is important to note that vinegar is not necessary for the brine used to ferment pickled cucumbers naturally. The fermentation process of pickles mainly depends on the lactobacillus bacteria that is normally found on the skin of a growing cucumber. These bacteria can be removed during the process of commercial harvesting and packing. However, in cases where they are needed, Bacteria cultures may be reintroduced to the harvested vegetables by adding already fermented products such as pieces of sourdough bread, pickled vegetables like sauerkraut, or fermented milk products like yogurt and others. Normally, small cucumbers are put in a glass or ceramic vessel or a wooden barrel, along with various spices such as white mustard seeds, garlic, dried allspice fruits, horseradish, grape, cherry, oak, blackcurrant, and bay laurel leaves, the whole dill stems with umbels and green seeds, and most importantly, salt. The vessel is subsequently filled with clean water and stored under a non-airtight cover, which usually ends up being a cloth tied on with a rubber band or string. 
It's kept here for some weeks based on preferred taste and external temperature. Traditionally, stones that have been sterilized by boiling are laid on top of the harvested cucumbers to submerge them under the solution. It's important to note that the cucumber's sourness is highly dependent on the quantity of salt added. As saltier cucumbers end up being sour, considering that brined pickles aren't made with vinegar, there is a film of bacteria that forms on top of the brine. This doesn't mean that the pickles are ruined, and the film of bacteria can be removed. However, pickles made without vinegar do not last as long as cucumbers that have been pickled with vinegar and have to be refrigerated. Therefore, most commercial manufacturers and pickle factories choose to add vinegar as a preservative for extended shelf life. Apart from the brined pickles, another famous variety is the bread and butter pickles. These pickles are a variety made by marinating the cucumbers in a solution of spices, sugar, and vinegar, which may then be chilled as refrigerator pickles or canned. The name of these pickles and their wide popularity in the United States are ascribed to Omar and Cora Fanning, a group of Illinois cucumber farmers who began to sell sweet and sour pickles in the 1920s after which they filed for the trademark name Fanning's Bread and Butter Pickles in 1923. Their name comes from a time when the Fannings endured rough years. By creating these pickles with their excess undersized cucumbers, bartered with their grocer for staples like bread and butter. These bread and butter pickles are usually much sweeter than other types, thanks to the sweeter brine they are marinated in. However, their difference from sweet pickles comes from the fact that they are spiced with cilantro and other spices. There are other kinds of pickles in the world today. This includes the kosher dill pickle, which is prepared according to the Jewish dietary laws and created in the conventional manner of Jewish New York City pickle makers by adding a generous amount of garlic and dill to natural salt brine. They were the main meal of the Jews living in Poland, Russia, Lithuania, and Ukraine, and were a great addition to the dull bread and potato diet of these chilly weather countries. For many generations, it was an autumn custom to fill barrels with shredded cabbage, beets, and cucumbers, which are then left to ferment in a warm place for many weeks. They are then relocated to cool, dark cellars, where they could last throughout the long, chilly winter until spring when fresh crops would be available. In the Victorian era, these varieties of pickles were considered food for the rich, meaning households that served them were very wealthy and had staff or servants who could help prepare them. However, today, pickles are regularly served as a side dish to accompany meals or alone as festival foods, usually on a stick.